Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be back, amen, to bring forth the word of God as we command our morning, amen. So let's command the morning, let's command the day, let's command the breaker anointing, fresh fire, Holy Ghost fire upon our lives this day, amen. As we come in agreement, corporate agreement with one another, with the word of God, with heaven, we pray now that our voice will be heard, amen. Our prayers will be answered. We pray now that God will see us and he will do what he has always done for us. And that is to deliver us from every satanic agent, from their plans, from their assignments they have set up for us this day. So, Father, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we stand this morning, as we command, as we declare, this is a new day. This is the day the Lord has made. And we rejoice in it, and we rejoice in it, and we rejoice in it. Amen. We take pleasure in this day. We take authority over our day. We counsel the assignments, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Every assignment that came from every demonic boardroom meeting, we counsel it now in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, we thank you for the spirit of the living God. We thank you for the dawning. We thank you for the new day. We thank you, Father God, that we frustrate the plans of the enemy. We will not allow or permit the enemy to frustrate our plans and the purpose that you have for us. Yea, God, we frustrate their plans. Frustration and failure is over. It will not be our portion. We shall walk in this season. We shall walk in success. We shall prosper, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. All things has passed away and all things have become new. That's right. All things are become new. They are becoming new right now as I speak your word, as I declare my victory that I have through your son, Jesus Christ. Yea, God, I thank you for the word of God. I thank you, Father God, as I command my morning. I thank you, Father God, that the enemy's plans has failed. Every strategic plan has failed in the name of Jesus Christ. I set my atmosphere this day, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless your name, Father God, this morning morning God and I thank you God that whoever hears the sound of my voice they shall walk in a place of prosperity the enemy can no longer hijack their blessings hijack their favor yea God we bless you Father God we thank you for fresh fire we thank you because you are our help you are our peace you are our joy and we bless you at this hour yea God We thank you, God, as we decree, as we declare. We thank you, Father God, that we shall have opportunities today. So whoever you are, wherever you are today, believe that you shall have opportunities today. Opportunities to wake up to do mighty things. Your family shall do mighty things. Your children, your extended family members, there will be no premature deaths. There will be no accidents. There will be no thefts. There will no. There will be no job loss or job job delay, amen, or any other acts that the enemy has for you, that the devil has assigned to you. Those assignments are now counseled and nullified with the blood of Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Father God. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your joy. As we enter into this day, we bless you, God, for the miracles that are manifesting this morning. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So it's always good to establish the word of God. It's always good to speak the word. Let the word arise for you. Amen. Let the word speak for you. Amen. So do what you could not do before. Rejoice in the name of the Lord. Rejoice in him at all times. I say rejoice. Amen. So we're going to get into some worship. (laughs) that's my favorite thing right getting into some worship we should always worship God but we're going to speak the word before we go to the son of choice we're going to speak God's word and believe God's word for our lives amen so we're going to go to the book of Isaiah Isaiah 54 we're going to speak the word and we're going to just trust him and believe him. Isaiah 54, mm-hmm. verse 14 to verse 17. 
Amen. Amen. So, Father, we thank you as we speak your word this morning. We speak the word of truth, Father God, which will bring forth our deliverance. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear and from fear and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that blowed the coals in the fire, that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. And I have read to you Isaiah 54, verse 14 to verse 17. And we decree and declare the word for the word of God is established. Amen. When we speak God's word, the word is established for you and for me. According to Job 22, verse 27, 28. So Father, we thank you, Lord, for the word. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you, Lord, that you are our help. And we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for fresh fire, Holy Ghost fire, in the name of Jesus, because we cannot do nothing without you. So we bless you this morning. We bless your word this morning. May your word speak for us, Father God. May your word change every circumstance in our lives as we submit ourselves to you, Father God, believing in you, trusting in you, knowing that you are our Lord, knowing that you are our Shekinah glory. That's right, our Shekinah glory. And we thank you, Father God, for all things in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. So let us get into worship. Let us glorify God. And let us just release the word after worship. We're going to command the day. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
Amen. Praise God. Release the fullness of your spirit. Shekinah glory come. Shekinah glory. Father, we just welcome the fullness of your spirit as we enter into our day, as we command the morning, as we command the day. We command the breaker anointing, fresh fire, Holy Ghost fire upon our lives. Oh, Father God, we just bless you right now, God. I am so full with your presence, God. And I pray that whoever hears this word, Father God, that whatever they are going through, Father God, you will prepare a way for them. Yea, God, I pray that they will confess that you will prepare a way for them. You will go before us, Father God, because you are the Lord of breakthrough. You are the Lord God Almighty, who is mighty and strong and pulling down strongholds, bringing every thought into captive. Oh, thank you, Father God, bringing every thought into captive unto the readiness of your son, Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Father God, as we submit our minds, submit our souls to you, Father God, submit everything that that belongs to you, Father God. Hey, God, you are there. You are dead, God. Yea, God, you are dead. Whoever you are right now, just fellowship with God. Believe in the presence of God and believe in His Shekinah glory. Believe in His fresh fire, Holy Ghost fire. Yea, God, I thank you, Lord, this day, Lord. I bless you, Father God. Just begin to confess that. Give God the highest praise that He is making the crooked way straight. That's right. God has taken what is crooked and has made it straight for you. He has taken you to the place where you are not able to go by yourself. He has removed all boundaries and all barriers for you to walk. Amen. Into your breakthrough, into your automatic turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. He has made whatever was rough. He has made it smooth. That's right. God has made it smooth for you. So entrust yourself to God Entrust your life to God Entrust your plans to God because it is he that will cause you to prosper. He will cause you to prosper. He will cause you to have success. Amen. In everything that you set your hands to do you shall prosper in God's word because God has plans for you God has plans for you and your household decree over your household speak the favor of God over your family over those who live with you over those who reside with you and forgive those who has hurt you as father has forgiven you It is the will of the Lord that we should forgive. Amen. So let us forgive. Let us repent. Let us turn from our wicked way so the enemy will not have legal ground. So Father, as we enter in this day, this dawning of the new day, we thank you, Father God, for our season. We thank you, Father God, that we press forward, Father God. We press forward forward and we press forward to the mark of the high calling of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yea God we thank you right now that anything or anyone, any satanic agent that assigned or undermined or to frustrate us, to hinder us, to hurt us we command it to be moved out of our sphere. We command it to be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right anyone any satanic agent, whether they be spiritual or human Whatever assignment they have assigned today, we command them to be moved out of our sphere. Be removed now in the name of Jesus. We bind every activity of the spirit of frustration. We bind every spirit of activity of hate, resentment, hindrance in your life today. And we command the spirit of healing to be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise you, God. We thank you, Father, guys. We command the day. We command the day to fully cooperate with your plans and your purpose for us, Father, God. So whoever you are, just begin to say, Lord, I command my day to fully cooperate with your plan and purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. So, Father, we thank you, Lord, that we have success today. Just begin to speak with the speak with the Lord. As you hear me pray, just begin to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, it is my portion. Today, I download success. It is my portion. Prosperity. It is my portion. Health. It is my portion. Wealth. It is my portion. Vision. It is my portion. Direction. It is my portion. 
ingenuity. It is my portion. Creativity. It is my portion. It is my children's portion. It is my, my, my spouse portion. Whatever your situation is, your mother, your brother, your father, your sister, whoever, extend that to them. It is our portion. Today, it is our portion. Spirituality is our portion. Holiness, righteousness, peace, and resourcefulness from your spirit. It is our portion. In this day, God, it is our portion. Because this day, Lord, you have made for us. You have made this day for us, Father God. And we thank you, Lord. We bless you, Father God. We glorify you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you fresh for fresh anointing, for a renewal of the mind. Yes, God, let our thoughts be renewed, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I release the fresh anointing over my children. I release the fresh anointing over my ministry. Whoever you are, begin to confess where you want that anointing to be. Release that anointing over your finances, over your land, over your transport, over your finances. Whatever the situation is for you, release the anointing of the Lord because it's the anointing anointing of the Lord that destroys the yokes and removes the burdens. So we thank you, Father God, for the anointing. We thank you for the Holy Ghost fire. We thank you for deliverance and salvation. We thank you, Father God, for peace and joy. We thank you, Father God, for healing. We thank you, Father God, for wealth. We thank you, Father God, for all things through your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, that you have given us a vision. And Father God, we bless you for the vision, for the prophetic word. We thank you, God, that you have given us ears to hear and to hear the word of God so that our faith will develop and our faith will grow in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you, Father God. The anointing destroys the yokes. The anointing destroys every diabolical assignment that the enemy had assigned against our lives. That's right. Whoever you are, say the anointing destroys every diabolical assignment that was assigned to you, assigned to your household, assigned to your job, whatever you feel like you want to put this word on, put it there now. If it's your marriage, if you're having problems with your marital status, say it right now. It's the anointing. The anointing destroyed every diabolical assignment against my marriage, against my children, against their health. Whatever you want to speak, speak it. Be creative with your words. God has given you creative power. And all you have to do is speak his word and believe his word and trust in his word. Because his word is for you and his word is for me. Amen. So let the anointing flow. Let the anointing flow right now in our lives. That's right. More fire. More Holy Ghost fire. Uncontaminated. Unhindered upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Yay, God. The anointing that is on my life for this season, for this mission, for this mandate and the purpose to attract only those with divinely ordained assignments. So I pray this morning that you will attract those who has divine assignments. Amen. That's right. Attract those who are walking upright with God. Attract those who know and understand the anointing upon your life and their life. Who is willing to help you and stand with you and pray with you and fast with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yay, God. We bless your name this morning, guys. We command the day. Yay, God. We thank you for the anointing upon our lives, God. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing upon our lives. Thank you for your anointing, Father God. Anointing to pray. Anointing to see signs and wonders and miracles. Anointing to defeat the enemy through spiritual warfare. The anointing, amen, that gives us purpose in our life. Driven purpose, amen. So we speak that anointing over our lives now. We speak Solomon's anointing. That's right. Today we speak Solomon's anointing for resource, management, wisdom, wealth, success, and prosperity. Release that word over yourself now. I speak Solomon's anointing for resource, come on now, management, wisdom, wealth, success 
and prosperity. Let it be my portion. Let it be my household's portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Yea, God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you for the glory of God. I thank you, Father God, because you are the lifter and the covering of our head. I thank you, Father God. Yea, God, you are the lifter and the covering of our head. And you have given us peace in every area. Peace in every area. So, Father, I release Isaac's anointing. Isaac's anointing for investing and being strategic in his investing, in her investing. So, if you are that Isaac, if you are the, if you are the one that loves to invest and you love to plan, you love to do things, amen, and see the glory of God upon your life now. That's right. See the glory of God upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. See the glory of God's upon your life in Jesus name Amen so we thank you Father God for Joshua's anointing anointing for warfare anointing for prosperity and success that's right being strategic knowing how to establish your foundation knowing how to how to recognize your weapons of warfare knowing how to study your enemy knowing how to prepare yourself for battle yea God we thank you for that anointing we thank you for the anointing that each person that hears the sound of my voice they will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus they will be blessed in all that they do father God in the name of Jesus they will not lack in wisdom in revelation and knowledge they will loose God upon they will loose the presence of God upon their life don't limit God release the presence of God upon your life let the presence of God be loosed in every area upon your life that's right pray that the spirit of wisdom revelation and knowledge be loosed as as God begin to break the strongholds of your life as God brings stability in your life in this time right now as we command the morning command the day we praise God that we cease not to give thanks by making mention of you in our prayers and that's the thing we I cease not to make mention of you in my prayers unto the most high Jehovah God I pray that God will help you I pray that God will be your peace and your joy in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that God will help you and I pray that you'll be submissive I pray that you will be obedient I pray that you allow the favor of God to be circled around you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will understand God's will for your life. Amen. I pray that you will be established. Amen. That you allow yourself to be established in the word of God. That you will understand the power and the authority that you have over the enemy. So those satanic agents have no rights. They have no right to come into your life. Amen. So make sure you cover yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Make sure you sanctify yourself with the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Because as you wake up this morning and make your declarations be known, you make that decree. Amen. As the word says, to decree a thing and it shall be established. To decree is to dictate, to ordain. Or prescribe it is determined or order amen it means you identified your jurisdiction amen wherever you are begin to identify your jurisdiction whatever the enemy has done in your life know this to this day you have jurisdiction over that area amen there's nothing that the enemy can do to you when you recognize your jurisdiction in whatever area he has troubled you or whatever human agent yes that human who is assigned to cause you to be frustrated who's assigned to cause you to be angry who's assigned to cause you to to walk away from the assignments that God has placed upon your life know that you have jurisdiction over that area amen so stay in alignment with the word of God and let God's will be done and the only way you can stay in alignment with God's word you must learn how to engage in spiritual warfare and it's required for us and for you to wake up 
early in the morning to make these decrees. If not in the morning, but late at night, whatever your assignment is, begin to get up and make these decrees. Make the declarations. Let the word be established for you in your household. Let the breath of fire be upon you now. Let the breath of fire blow upon you now. Yea, God, send your wind for four corners of the earth. Send your angelic assistance for those who need angelic assistance. Father, send the angels to guard and to protect their household. Protect their inhabitants in their home father god in the mighty name of jesus yay god we thank you father god that every entry point every door that was open is now sealed and shut with the blood of the lamb as we could consecrate this day father god as we consecrate this day with the word and with the blood of jesus we thank you for the atonement we thank you for the atonement we thank you for this day as we make our prayer to you and we thank you God that you hear us God we thank you God that our heavens is no longer bronze and our earth is no longer iron amen amen we are no longer bound to the curse so we thank you father for this day we thank you for this morning God and we thank you God as we remind you of your promise for our lives we shall be be victorious in Christ Jesus amen so I bless you I speak life over you and I pray that God will be your help as you permit him to be your help. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for being my helper. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for being my teacher. Thank you for being my father, being my mother. When all else fails, you are Jehovah God. You are with me. And I thank you, Lord, that I shall prosper in this day. As I command the day, command my morning, command the breaker anointing, double portion upon your lives in Jesus' name. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, prophetic utterance. Amen.